Hello there, it's Steve here from Showrooms Online and today we're on the edge of the Telford Town Park in Hinksay in Telford and this is Silking Green by Countryside Properties. Behind me is the three bedroom New Stamford house type. This beautiful three bedroom house, three storey, is absolutely beautiful. Just check out that beautiful brick detail. Let's go and take a look around. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the New Stamford. New Stamford, yes. By Countryside Properties, Silking mm -hmm. Green, Hinksay in Telford. Yeah, oh. so this is the second of two beautiful show homes yeah, here on yeah. this development. How many bedrooms is this house? Three. So this is a new yes. improved version of the Stamford. It is, but it has two additional floors. Oh, right, like this okay. One. So, okay. Yes, so we've got this uh, and we've got this little hallway here, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It's just just a bit of L shaped hallway here. Yeah. You know? couple of sockets here. You know, one thing I noticed while I was waiting to come in, have a look at the beautiful, uh, the beautiful front door. Oh, I thought you meant outside. No, oh no, we'll cover that after. Yeah, it is a nice we? front door, isn't it's it? It's lovely, yes, right. So what have we got? We've got a, first thing, we've got an alarm system. Can that, can that there? Yes, now that's an intruder alarm. It's all included when you buy this lovely house. So you can customise, look, looks like same thing, customise your zones, etc. Very nice. And I do like the stickers. Yeah. It does make my life easier. Right, hang on, let me just take a little squeeze out of the plan. Right, so if I open this door, we've got downstairs cloakroom. Right, so we've got um we've got these nice nice sanitary wear here, I think ideal standard. Um little sink little basin sink there, got the radiator there as well, and you've also got a window outside and RCD box just there with just where you need it, not stuck in some cupboard. Yeah, it's handy to get at yeah. it, isn't it? Very accessible. So you've got a little L shape on the uh, on the hallway then. It's nice that is. Right, so you are in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm, let's have a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that when I came around the corner. Let me shut this door. So we've got a window there at the front. Yeah. Gosh, this is beautiful. Right then. It's a big area to cover, isn't it? So we've got kitchen, dining, family, living area at the back there. It is, it goes right back, yeah. doesn't it? It's lovely. Right, and it's it's open plan, right yeah. the way through. So let's start in the kitchen then. What have we got? We've got stickers that say what's included. So you've got the LED lighting underneath. Yeah, let a me, lot more energy. Pop the other lights. A on lot as more well. energy efficient, aren't they? Yes, they are. Very and you've got efficient. look, you've got some USB sockets there, which is nice to see. And that's just where you want them as yeah. well, isn't it? So yeah. you can plug your phone and your tablet in. Yeah. It's modern. That's modern day living yeah. for you, isn't it? They're essential nowadays. You've got your right, your bank of isolators there. So let's have a look. Oh, right. Washer dryer then. There isn't a separate utility, so everything's in here. Very compact. 
I mean, it's great to have integrated appliances, isn't it? What have we got? So we've got cupboards. Got an integrated dishwasher there. A lovely hob with five rings, and you've got the sticker to say it's included. You've got your big, your big burner in the middle. Beautiful glass, glass. Look at that. If I can get my words out, glass splashback, and your extractor fan there look, above. All included. That's great, isn't it? Cupboard there at eye line, which is always great. More cupboard space. What have we got in here? Okay, let me just move this. Lovely thing. Right, so that's your boiler. Yeah, it's just so you've got gas central heating does, yeah. system in this house. It's tucked away though, isn't it? You wouldn't yeah. know it was in there. No. I'm just looking as well. You've actually got your controller in there too. Oh, that's you've okay. That. So you've also on this end of the, the countertop there, you've got some, they've squeezed in a few um, shelves in there as well. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, isn't it? If you're thinking that's all from the storage, think again. This house has got an abundance of storage. So we've got this whole bank of storage over this side. Oh, well, There's two more cupboards there under the counter. Right, let's open some doors. So you've got a bit of a larder cupboard there. Plenty of storage. You've got your oven and your grill above. Sticker again, so it's all included. Yeah. You've got your pull-out larder. Let's just have a little look what they've got on it. Jamie Oliver Pennypasta. Oh, Jamie Oliver Pasta, well known. Mm. AG appliances going on. Yes, lots of nice bits and pieces. Sticker here, so this will be your fridge and freezer then that's also yeah. included. Which is great. It's one less oh, thing that's to actually an LED it. light in that fridge as well, look. Yeah. Which is one of the annoying things about fridge lights. They always go, don't they? And but longer with an LED, you've got a lot longer lifespan on it. Electrolux yeah. fridge freezer. Yeah. So very very nice so they've got a dining area here they've got a sofa so this is your living area but it's because it's so open plan it's really interchangeable and flexible isn't it yeah. you could have a big corner sofa if you wanted you could have two sofas a smaller table it's beautiful it is a really multi multi-functional space isn't yeah. it you, you just so adapt it to whatever you need oh countryside property styly trademark windows there skylights the look sky at how nice they look just bring that extra bit yeah. of light and it's all about the they're living fab. space isn't it they're beautiful, i mean they? ned you know most developers they'll just put they'll have a pet set of those doors there and then just have a small little glass panel at either side the veloxes are nice i think and it's just nice to be able to look up and see the sky isn't it yeah so additionally you've got two side windows quite big ones just so that you can, if you just want a bit of fresh air in, yeah. in the winter, you just open them slightly. Rather than having to throw all the doors open, you can just open the windows. Yeah. Well, that's how it's designed. Oh, there we go. Right. Yeah. Oh. So even look at that. That's, you know, a nice bit of landscaping nice going on here, isn't there? Yeah. Very nice. So you can see over the fence that this site is currently under development. There's still a there's still a good choice of plots, yeah, isn't there? there? Is. You know, I was yes. looking at the, the availability. There is a good selection of house choices. Yeah. Nice variety. Yeah. For all sizes of home buyers, it depends. Yeah. Whatever you want to buy, they've got a house that will suit you. Yeah. yeah. So looking at this house from above, there you can see the top floor there in the roof. That's got quite a high roof line on it, but the, the that that lovely tiling, that beautiful kind of reddish reddish tile and nice big skylights so they just look beautiful and then actually um if you look on on this particular plot as well a lot of some of the developers don't bother with putting um additional um trinkets on the window you know framing but look at that there they've actually got that looks really nice it just gives it a bit of character yeah and that's what i'm all about as i like the character and actual fact as well let me just comment on the brickwork these bricks are beautiful just look at them beautifully finished as well look at that it's so smooth anyway enough get enough of me outside look outside here though we've got some we've got some outside sockets as well there but also you get these these um outside lights as well one on the front one on the back it's all it's all here it's very nice isn't it right just to mention you've got your um, your media points and everything down there yep. so you could have your tv on the wall but it all connects down there just wanted to show you this. Hold on, I'm just still at the skylights. Look. Sorry, look, there's a book here which says 
I'm only pretending to be organised. Oh, it's a diary. I tried to buy a diary for 2018. I mean, you can't buy them now because they'll be getting they'll be selling 2019. Right, I need to give you some dimensions for in here. Right, the kitchen area then is two meters ninety by four meters forty six. Uh, that's in length. So you've got fourteen foot seven in length by nine foot six. They do then, have the wow factor, don't on, they? Hand finished living and dining. You've got three meters ninety two in width by just over five meters in length. So that's sixteen foot six in length by twelve foot ten in width. And with this one, Very just worth, worth noting that you do get a garage with this one, um, which is um, next. Just it's not integral. It's not, you know detached. Detached. Or garage. it's attached. Okay, right, let's have a little... Oh. oh dear. That's a storage cupboard. It's the locked door. Well, let me just improvise. Well, um, I always want to know what's in them when they're locked. Well, in this cupboard you've got a, a plentiful um, storage space. I think it's very stylish. Remember when, you, we used to, when we came in the first countryside properties we reviewed, remember me standing right back at the side of the house and going, yeah. look how long that house is. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Just Let me just try and add together the length. So we've got... Is that that lampshade I saw next door there? Is that just me? No, I think that's a fruit bowl. But it does look like it. Possibly it could be a lampshade if you wanted to hold it up that way. But I do think it's a fruit bowl. Just in the same way that is. It's the same the, style. Yes. So... You've got four meters forty-six in length for the kitchen and five meters for the living dining room. So you've got nine, nine and a half meters mm. in this room in length. Well, it's time for me to head upstairs. Okay, so you can see what I like. Just first of all, as we do go upstairs, you can see that lovely plaster work on the. Look at that there. Don't have to do that, but that little bit of detail. Mm. Let's go up and have a look. Let's just stop there and take a look at it. These newel posts are beautiful. Just look at that big chunky, chunky timber on the top there. But well, that's really nice. But there's another floor, you see. That's why we've got that detail in there. So we're on the landing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now that actual upstairs has got its own door. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Right. Oh, you know what I'm like with plans. I think we've got bedroom three there, bedroom two here at the rear. So should we start here yeah. and work our way back? So bedroom two is a double bedroom and it's at the back of the house so we're above the living area aren't we yeah. here the living area of the uh the downstairs bedroom two and if you as you can see from the plan it goes the full width of the house there yeah so it's three meters 92 by two meters 44 this bedroom 12 foot 10 by eight foot eight foot in uh Eight foot in width. No, twelve foot ten in width. I'm going to say eight it foot. Eight <laughs> foot in length. <laughs> so they've got some fitted wardrobes in here. There's no sticker on them, so I'm presuming they're not included. But they do fit perfectly there. I mean, they've got this lovely um, standalone chest of drawers there. But I mean, it might be nice to have them right the way across, might not it? Yeah. Um, you could maybe even have your TV in there and be able to open and close the doors when you don't want to watch it. Let's pop the lights on. Very nice light fitting, I like that. Show the viewers that, Steve. That's lovely. Well, good room. Good size yeah, window in there nice. as well. Next we've got the main bathroom. Ooh. Ah, so this is quite nice. That's um, lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got some nice tiling there. We've got the, the shower. The, the tiling is the porcelanosa. Porcelanosa. Porcelanosa tiles. Um, porcelanosa tiles. Uh, if we said that wrong, then uh, just send us an, <laughs> send us an email. Yeah. Send us an email. Um, yeah, so you've Very got nice that, and you've got the, sh the shower there, which runs off the boiler. Yeah. Very nice. Look at that really stylish bath panel as well there. I always have trouble filming. Um, the, yeah. I do like that, though. The little alcove shelving with yeah. a light. That's nice. Little detail there. 
Noted, noted, little detail. But you've got a really nice WC there. Um, we're ideal standard. We've got a towel rail, mirror, um, this the van. Rail, the chrome towel rail does have a uh, summer setting. Yeah. And it's included along with the mirror. Um, beautiful vanity unit there under the sink. Yeah, that's, and it's included. And it's a bathroom with its own window. Well, it, it, it had it included on, on the last house. Oh, much. I can't see a sticker on there though. No, no. So maybe it isn't. No. But uh, it's always best to check. Yeah. Anyway. You never know. You never Beautiful. know. Right. So. Look at this little, just just that little oh. newel poking out of there. Look at that. Look at that detail. Right. So along the landing, I'm going to pull this two because that's a surprise. Right. This is bedroom three. So on this landing, you've got two bedrooms, first floor. So this is one meter ninety by two meters eighty-seven. Oh, pretty wallpaper. I like that. And ice skates. But look at the greenery through the window. Just look at that. Just trees. Now, now tell the viewers why the ice skates are relevant. Wow. Well, actually, let's talk a little bit about where we are, actually. Yeah. Well, we are actually... Um, let's just go to the window and have a look. Well, this little lane here and those little cottages there. This lane was actually used to be called Dark Lane and it used to be one of the main roads be through Telford before it was Telford. Because obviously Telford's a new town. So if you follow that, now it's called Hinks A Lane, um, and that takes you up to the Telford Centre, which is just up the road there. So this is actually um, a dead end at the end of this road, but there's a car park at the end there, and that leads you to the Telford Town Park. 450 acres of beautiful open space. You've got a shopping centre just on the outskirts of that, and also a... An ice rink. Yes. So you are literally a 10 minute walk from the ice rink. And I believe that Torval and Dean have been to that ice rink, really? if you remember who they were, in their very, very early days. But that's it. We have got the ice rink there. We've got everything here. I mean, here. the town park is just, it's, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's Telford's biggest asset, biggest and best asset, yeah. apart from the Iron Bridge, which is also here. Yeah. I mean, you've just you've got cycling. We you are actually walk. here in this location. There's some beautiful pools. Just a little walk over the uh, over the living on the edge. Yeah, on the <laughs> edge there. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it is. And amazing. countryside properties. It's their it's their first foray into Shropshire. Mm. Um, they've got a new development coming in Shifnal, but they've picked the right site here. It is written quite literally in the town park. Right. We've got a magic door with a little landing. We've got another floor. So it's up to the second floor. Oh yeah, so there was a bit of anticipation when we look up. I the, just love these. And then you get a big slopey ceiling. We'll see, we'll see what's up here. Because we haven't pre-rehearsed this, you no, know. we haven't been up here. Ooh. Oh, that's quite cute. God, I think we're up in the roof now. So this is your master bedroom. Beautiful. Wow. Those windows, again, just look at them. Wow. Do they open, I wonder? Um, I think you just pull them down like this. Do you? You do, and push. I think you pull them down and push forward. I hold oh, the there camera. you go, there you go, there you go. So you so, can see them. Now hang on and let me show the viewers. We'll show you more up in the roof. There you go. So you can see along Hinksay Road and then Lane. Lane and then the other way. Fabulous. Imagine just sitting here, getting these open, opening these. It's beautiful, isn't opening, it? Opening these up, you know. It's beautiful. What a nice place. So, what a nice place. Let me let me shut that window. Yes. Let me show you how easy it is. So there you go as simple as that beautiful but how private is but it how here? can you just sit on your bed sit on your bed and literally yeah. i'm just going to sort of get down to bed level <laughs> i'm not going to get on the bed all you can see is the treetops let's take a look guys beautiful, look at that so this is the new stanford you only get that in this look yeah. a, a blue sky view so up here on the second floor then uh this beautiful bedroom is 3 meters 92 by 5 meters 61 which is 12 foot 10 by 18 foot 5 because sometimes we do get asked for the dimensions in feet don't we what i do like about this as well a lot a lot of houses that we've seen uh, especially where the, the thing you know 
the oh, a room wow. is in the roof is that it's actually right up into the roof so you, yeah. but you've actually got additional storage space through the loft hatch yeah. there so you still got a bit of a roof on this you have you've got electric smoke detectors so that's actually wired in so you never have to worry about it but also you've got this little dressing area here this is lovely isn't it so they've actually got fitted wardrobes in here now there's no sticker on them so i don't think they're included but it's a fantastic place. But even it goes back, there's still a bit of storage space behind there as well. I'll tell you what, that actually could be. And it goes right the way across. But that, you know, could even be a little study area if yeah, you wanted it to. Yeah, you could have to. a desk in there, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, I mean, you could have a desk here. Yeah, as it's well quite a versatile little space. You, know, you need somewhere to put your clothes, don't you? So that is a fantastic place for fitted wardrobes. They've got a little dressing table over there. So there's plenty of room for everything. You've got your media bank over there with your aerial socket, sockets for your TV, your modem. What do they call them? Modems or routers? Routers. Routers. Routers, yeah. Okay, we've so we've got, got an ensuite. We have got an ensuite. Let me pop the light on. There we go. So you've got a little V-Lux in here as well. That's really good. Yeah. So that's not bad. Lovely. So we've got... You've got a vanity unit with a sink. Tar rail. Now, there is no sticker on the uh, yeah, towel rail, yeah. Around, yeah, and the eye dust and the um, sanctuary. You have got a loop. Oh, Steve, oh you've, sorry, you've disturbed the, the lovely towel. Uh, right, a, a, a towel just dropped on the yeah. floor, that was all. Oh. Okay, so you've got you've got a corner shower, and it's quite a big cubicle as well. Yeah, and you've got the shower which is running off the boiler. So, mm -hmm. oh, you can't argue, but don't forget with countryside. A lot what you see, you get a lot more for your money than you do with other developers because yeah. obviously a lot of what you see is included, yeah. you know. So it is worth just coming over and taking a look at the show homes. Don't just take Come our word for here. it. That's it. Come back don't, to the window while we finish off. Don't take our word for it. Yeah. Well, that is Countryside Properties and we're at Silking Green, Hinksay in Telford. Yes. Um, Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Good great. Island. Lovely houses. Great development come along and have a look we hope you've enjoyed our video um, all the dimensions and information about this development and this house and indeed the house next door will all be in the description box down below so don't forget to check that out because um, it'll all be down there along with some various links for our social media etc but we will oh sorry oh, yeah if you want to take a look at other countryside properties mm. we've got on our uh, channel then just go to www.sharonsonline.com click the directory button and click the um, Countryside Properties logo and it'll take you all to all of the show, all of the show homes that we've yes, reviewed all we over have, the country. We have been in some absolute beautiful homes. And we do it's hope to bring beautiful. you some more Countryside Properties from this region, hopefully. Yes. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, much appreciated and we welcome your comments. Uh, and we will catch you on our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.